And howdy do, hey I am Tom, the Beer Whisperer, and a howdy do to you too. Hey, um, hey, how are you? It's a bitch. Um, <laughs> who, uh, shoot, I have my glass right here, and it disappeared on me. Hold on, I gotta get up and get grab the glass. Don't you love it when I do things professionally? It's a bitch. Um, <laughs> I'm going to use this funky glass that my wife got me a little while back at a uh, thrift store. The Bellican beer. I've never had Bellican beer. It is from Belize. I don't know anything about them. But I love this little crazy ass glass. It just, the way beer goes, it just, uh, there's something about it. Everything tastes good and especially good. Not surprisingly, that is good with lighter brews. Uh, because most uh, beers like that are a lighter body. Anyway, I'm going to pour a little bit in here. This is a Morgan Street Golden Pilsner, and I want to read from their website here. As I poured that rather poorly, but I've noticed everything I pour in this glass... No matter, even if I pour it aggressively or if I, if I try to pour it very gingerly, I still get one monster of a head. It's just the way it is. I don't know why. I love the glass, though. i got to tell you. Um, Golden Pilsner. This bohemian-styled bohemian styled Pilsner is rich and malty. Hop character is spicy due to the use of Czech Saz hops. Pretty standard in a Pilsner. Um... Morgan Street Brewery's Golden Pilsner is not quite as bitter as its German Pilsner cousins. Okay, so it's meant to be a little lighter. Uh, this Pilsner has a nice round taste uh, with clear, crisp, a clean, crisp finish. The appearance is pale to deep gold with creamy white head. Uh, sometimes going to announce your voice for no reason. Uh, uh, <laughs> this beer has won many awards, with the most prestigious being gold at the World Beer Cup in 2010. Uh, -da -da. Uh, Golden Pilsner is available year-round at our brewery. Um, okay, so so what? Right? Anyway, malts are Euro Pils, Munich Carapils, hops are Hallertown, Middle French, Czech, Sauce, uh, pretty standard hops for a Pilsner. Uh, numbers are 5.1% 35 IBUs. I don't know if the can version is any different from that because the can says 5% even. So I don't know if it's different, if it loses a percent here or they round it down and beast the hell out of me. Uh, but, but here you go. So this is the beer. Very light, uh, light golden as you can see. Uh, no, start running there. Uh, Nice aroma, uh, very Pilsner-like, a uh, little biscuity. Uh, very light, but not not quite uh, American adjunct lager light. Um, uh, there is a little bit of body to it, but not a lot. Um, but it is it is very crisp and clean. Uh, Uh, not long ago, I tasted the the revived New Albion Ale. What made that beer absolutely fantastic was the finish, six percent, six percent, thirty IBUs. Uh, this is uh, less on the percent, more on the IBUs. But uh, that that is the one thing that was beautiful about that beer was the finish. This one doesn't quite get there. It is crisp, it's clean, but it's not that crisp and clean. If you're looking for a reference point, it, it's not quite New Albion Ale. But having said that, um, it is a very refreshing brew. Some are going to like this because. Uh, well, there is a time and a place for a beer like this, right? Uh, you know, sometimes you don't want to be filled up or have something extremely heavy. Uh, there certainly is a time and a place for a beer like this. Let me move that around a little bit. Oh, shoot. There we go. All right. I'm just not sure why, but I always, <laughs> no matter what I so I'm going to try to pour this real gingerly, and it's still going to give me quite a hit. Yeah, see, it just, see how that does it? It must be the shape of the glass because it's a little narrower and it comes up, comes out, but then it comes in just slightly. And I don't know if you could tell that. It's got a slight taper right there. 
and it just pours everything so beautiful in there. Even even lighter lagers um, that you don't typically get a lot of good head from. They're a lot of good head, man. Everybody wants some good head. But uh, it just pours every. I mean, <laughs> anytime you drink anything lighter, pour it into this glass, and it will taste better. I shit you not. I'm not kidding, brother. Some bitch. Uh, anyways, I've digressed. Uh, wow. Oh. Oh. Wow. Very nice. You can see how that pours. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to cut this one down because I think I've said about all I need to say about this beer. I'm going to sit and drink, relax and drink the rest of it. But, um, yeah, it, it is likable. There's nothing wrong with it. It is just going to be depending on what you're in the mood for. And, again, as much as I hate to keep grinding on it, it's going to depend on price. Do you want to pay? This typically runs about $9 a six-pack. There may be something you want more for $9 a six-pack. That is just a little more. But it is a solid beer. It is crafted well. There's nothing wrong with it from Morgan Street Brewery. So, give it a whirl, will ya? I am Tom the Beer Whisperer. I'm gonna howdy-do my happy keister out of here. Bye-bye. Oh, no. Help me, help me.